Releasing over the past couple of weeks through the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade has been Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown. Developed by Sega, Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown is a more robust, balanced, and updated version of Virtua Fighter 5. Gameplay has been tweaked slightly to promote better balance to the underlying game while also introducing two new characters into the fray. Sega saw fit to release Final Showdown as a digital download only as they felt it would suit the game better, selling at the substantially cheap price of 1,200 Microsoft points or 15 or 49.99 on a PlayStation Network in the US. A special note, if you are a PS Plus subscriber, you could have gotten the game for free for a limited time too. All of this is for the basic version, which includes everything bar customizable clothing and a one offline gameplay mode. You can then purchase the additional customizable clothing through DLC for each character in the game separately or combined. The extra DLC is merely flash and doesn't really interfere with the core of the game. As such, the main game is of very good value, especially if you are into fighters and will spend hours on it. But newcomers to the game should not be scared. Uh, the Virtual Fighter series prides itself on being a pretty tactic, technical and tactical fighter, and for all intents and purposes, it still is. It is still surprising how easy it is to pick up as a newcomer to fighting games, um, as it's really easy to understand how to play. The game is very accessible to begin with, and rewards the players should they delve even deeper into the combat mechanics. With the addition of two new characters, Jin Kuju and Takarashi, the game now supports 19 characters on a whole. That is a lot of characters to choose from, especially considering the amount of variety each character has. For the uninitiated, Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown plays like a martial arts sparring fight game. That is to say, it's all punches and kicks, and for certain characters, some headbutts too, um, with throws also included. As such, you won't find any magical attacks, any use of weapons, or any weird creatures fighting here. Some may see that as sort of too vanilla or too boring, but I personally love the feel of brute force combat in fighting games. So find a character that suits your own particular playstyle and you should be able to enjoy the game immediately. It may take some getting used to, especially to some of the more specific and harder to pull off combos, but it certainly does feel rewarding when applied properly. Even better. The game comes with a pretty comprehensible uh, tutorial for each character so that newcomers can learn how to properly use a the character. There are a variety of ways to check how you input a command and how its execution affects your opponent and yourself, allowing newcomers to grasp advanced mechanics of the game should they want to face a top tier opponent. Some commands even have a video guide to show you how the moves are supposed to be executed. It's a very robust tutorial which will be handy for a player of any level. One of the game's cons though is the fact that the game is more suited to those using an arcade stick. This doesn't mean that standard gamepads don't work, as many of the game's combat moves are still easy enough to pull off with a standard gamepad, but high level play incorporating all the various dexterous movements will be hard to accomplish and will benefit, benefit anyone with an arcade stick over those with a standard gamepad. As such, gamepad users may find themselves limited in their arsenal of attacks, but it's still very playable and enjoyable. The game sadly also doesn't have many game modes. This is wholly understandable given the price and size of the game, but it is still a shame. While story mode in fighting games tend to be forgettable, they always tend to be a good means of introducing the various characters to players whilst also allowing the player to grow through the AI's difficulty levels. In Final Showdown, offline modes are straightforward with basic single player fights, score attacks, and a license mode which is which is probably the only really fun mode, which is a which is a sort of another tutorial mechanic where players are rewarded for utilizing specific combat mechanics and attributes in fights. Of note there is an extra offline gameplay mode that unlocks by having all the character customizable clothing DLC. Um, which is a fairly simple mode that pits players against the computer in a sort of survival mode where the, fi where the computer uses uh, the customizable clothing and fights in sort of a teamed outfits. So for instance in some sort of beach, um, beachwear basically. 
it's nothing really special, it's just an added bonus for having all of the, all of the DLC. Online will be the meat of the game, however, at least for the majority of occasions. There are three main online modes in this game, which are player match, ranked match, and room match. Player matches are non-ranked 1v1 fights, but this section is a bit devoid of players. Ranked matches are where most players lie in wait. Again, it's 1v1, but with the bonus of ranking up via points as earned as you play. You seem to always gain these points even if you lose, but victory affords you more. Lastly, we have room matches, which seem to cater for friends to come together online and play amongst themselves rather than, you know, a group of random people playing together. Room matches can be slow, which is why I, I say it's more suited for friends, because you might have to wait for up to 6 other players to fight before you get a turn. If you keep losing, that is. It is, it is a shame there aren't more online modes, for instance, the tournament mode would, would be most welcome. Uh, bragging rights for tournament victories would undoubtedly make the mode popular, but as said previously, for the price, one can't complain too much. To add to the notion of bragging rights, however, players do at least have the op option to save replays of fights, which they can then view later or upload to the game server for other players to see. It isn't uploadable to YouTube or anything like that, but it's only there for the virtual fighter fans, really. It's a neat addition. And of note for these online modes, the net code for Final Showdown seems to be really really solid. So long as you're facing an opponent with at least 2 connection bars, then you should be okay. Anything under 2 bars however can get a bit laggy and destroy the fluidity of the game. The bad connections seem to be from the player side of things rather than Sega's net code for the game, especially since some matchups I've experienced that are supposed to be from the same region as me have been laggy, while us, while, whilst others from a worldwide search have been great. So as you can see, the netcode, the basic netcode there for me is really solid. Visually, Final Showdown isn't the prettiest of games. Stages can seem very barren, as nothing eye-catching tends to happen. And uh, But at least the stages themselves are varied and provide different challenges to players depending on the stage itself. Some stages, for instance, have no fences, allows, allowing for easy ring outs. Others are rectangular in shape, providing fast frenetic action straight away in fights as players can back away easily. The characters in the game look really good though. If you purchase the additional DLC content, you'll, you'll even be able to make each character look very distinguished. If not, at least you still get two alternate costumes for each character. Aside from clothing, the characters' movesets look really fluid and combos seem to really flow from one hit to another. Another addition is cinematic camera sequences which occur whenever the player gets a strong launcher or knockdown attack on the opponent, which really does spice the visuals up a tad. From an audio perspective, Final Showdown is pretty weak. Background music is generic and even the sound effects within the game are pretty dull to the ear. It doesn't affect the game too much, but a bit more emphasis on this aspect would have been good for the game. So that's all my general feelings for the game. As for my final thoughts, I'd say the core, solid fighting game mechanics behind Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown is unmistakable. The game is a treat to play, and since it is an upgrade, the game is very balanced. Excellent tutorials provide newcomers and veterans basic and advanced information to understand the game's mechanics. A very solid online component helps to keep the game enjoyable and greatly extends its replayability. At its current price tag, Final Showdown is a must buy for anyone interested in fighting games and a sure bet for others just looking for a great game to pass the time. I give the game a score of 9 out of 10.